I'm Jakub Hanik-Lenczowski and with me there's Adam Hodges and we are speaking about the Apache helicopters. As you know, Polish airmen did decide to uh, procure uh, 96 of the Apache helicopters. Let's talk about the whole process. Uh, how uh, the process of the providing Apache from Poland uh, will be looks like. So the obviously it's a, a government to government agreement, right? So Boeing as the manufacturer of the aircraft we will produce the aircraft uh, under contract from the US government and then and then we will actually sign them over to be transferred to the Republic of Poland. Um, and there there's also a lease case involved as part of as part of the deal. So there's you know there, there will be a, a transfer of aircraft under a government to government lease. Uh, but then the, the main portion of the uh, of the case is the, the purchase of ninety six new built aircraft. Yeah, but uh, let's talk about the business part of this deal. Okay. So, uh, how fast you are capable of to build of the 96 brand new Echoes? So the, the production time varies. Uh, you know, we uh, the delivery time is, is based upon a U.S. government agreement. So I, I can't go on record and tell you the exact date, how long it takes. But it is it's a process that, that takes a couple of years to build, uh, based upon uh, the various factors in the industry. Uh, and right now, Poland is uh, is expecting the, the the first uh, aircraft to probably arrive in about three years as far as the new build aircraft, but that's still an agreement that has to be worked out between the United States government and Poland. Okay. Uh, what about cooperation between Boeing and uh, Polish-based uh, uh, defense industry? How the Polish industry could support uh, both the production of the Apaches or the service and the maintenance uh, while they are here in Poland? <laughs> well, first I'll say that I've always been very impressed by by the um, the robust capability and you know just the um, the 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 overall scale and scope of, of aviation in Poland you know the Polish armaments group companies you know all, all the various industry that uh, that I've had the opportunity to to see and be a part of uh, and they're very capable of, of being a strong enduring partner with with Boeing and with all the team Apache you know there, there are other American industry involved with with building the Apache not just Boeing and uh, you know there there are agreements in uh, in negotiations right now to, to partner uh, for various industrial cooperation uh, the one of the the main areas of focus and emphasis is on the uh, the sustainment and the maintenance and the, the long-term um, sustainment of the aircraft you know there's quite a, there's gonna be quite a, a bit of, uh, of work that Polish industry will be able to partner with the, the Polish military and with Boeing to do uh, and we very much look forward to, to being that partner okay. uh, what about uh, well, uh, Engines, because in Poland we have uh, well uh, Sikorsky uh, factory. We've got uh, Pratt Whitney facility as well. Is there any chance to well maintain or maybe produce in the future uh, power plants for the helicopter? So the, the engines of the Apache are made by General Electric. Yeah. Uh, it's the, the T701. It's the same the same engine that's in the Blackhawk, and uh, they're part. They're a strong member of Team Apache. And I know I, I can't speak for General Electric. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I know that they are in. Uh, in negotiations with, uh, with the Polish Armament Agency on industrial cooperation, specifically on the engine. So there definitely are opportunities being worked. It's just not something that falls under the, 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 the scope and the purview of Boeing. Okay. And I have a one last question for you as a former Apache pilot. Mm -hmm. What will be the best advantage for the Polish soldiers while they will operate on the Apaches? Oh, my goodness. How much time do you have? <laughs> now, so the, uh, I would say probably, if I had to just say you know, one thing, you know, and it's very hard to just one thing, but the uh, I think the thing that makes the Apache most unique amongst all other helicopters is its ability to be most effective in the darkest of night conditions. You know, it is an aircraft that is designed and meant to fight and destroy the enemy. When you, when the helicopter has the greatest advantage of not being seen detected by being able to operate completely unconstrained at night. The night vision systems that are on board this helicopter, uh, we want it to be as dark as possible. You know, As an Apache pilot, I want no moon, I want an overcast, I want no ground lights, I want it to be pitch black night because I can still see the enemy using the heat signatures of the onboard systems and I can reach out and destroy those those enemy up to 16 kilometers away before they ever even knew I was there. So it is going to be a completely different way to fight attack helicopters for the Polish military and those pilots are going to become highly proficient night pilots, probably different than they're used to flying under goggles right now. What about 
about the network warfare and cooperating with other American platforms. Yeah, so the, now arriving to you told me to pick one, so I picked the okay. night vision. But uh, the, the network integration of this helicopter allows, you know, right now, you know, an aircraft that, that is that's not an Apache, that say is a legacy aircraft of you know, some other production, uh, they probably are only able to to affect what they can see with their eyes, or maybe view with their onboard sensors. Maybe if somebody calls them on a radio, they hear with their ears. There's a target over there. That's about the limit of their ability to affect in, uh, on the battlefield. With the Apache, they can receive a target that's 50, 60 kilometers away from an unmanned system or from an F-35 fighter that you know detects it. You know, in stealth mode, they'll detect a target. Uh, and then pass it back to the Apache and, ne and, and network between aircraft and between sensors and shooters. And an Apache can have a, a, re a single aircraft could have the reach of hundreds of kilometers in the battlefield using the network integration this aircraft has. Okay, and this is the last thing I promise. Um, what about uh, future development of the Apache, cooperating with Amman? Uh, vehicles which might be on the board, is there uh, possible to, uh, well, future upgrade of Polish Apaches to have uh, such kind of, uh, well, kind of loyal wingman, sure, something sure. like that? No, it's a great question. Um, some of which I can't answer directly. There's still some, uh, some export uh, d decisions made by the U.S. government. I will say that in general, the answer is yes. There is absolutely the potential uh, for development and advancement of across a wide range of technologies for manned and unmanned teaming. That is that is absolutely what the U.S. Army is doing with its Apache fleet. And Poland is you know, one of our strongest allies and NATO partners. Should fully expect that capability to be at their, at their disposal in the future. Thank you very much. Absolutely, it's a pleasure. Thank you.